Hello and welcome back to the table, folks. Welcome back to another episode of Slanted Dice. It's been a while. And uh, we thought we we're going to start the stream. We're already late as it is. Um, however, we did have some leveling up to do. And apparently our warlock is still debating a couple of fancy schmancy spells. Yeah. The tentacles sound good. I I know that I know that tentacles sound good, oh. but then that it's like restricted to an area. Oh. That's the thing, and they the enemy gets out with a dexterity or a strength check, so that's meh. Did he post it? I do like I, I, yeah in the war room. Uh, I do like the forty ten radiant damage from the from the sickening radiance. Yeah. That sounds Ooh. pretty like a lot. Did we ever find out what the moil does? Except yeah, the, the moil is the, <laughs> is, the, is, is, the tip. <laughs> is the first one. It's more like a protection thing for me, which I actually do prefer. Uh, <laughs> I see. But you never get hurt anyway. Yeah, yeah. still, and it does, <laughs> it, and it deals damage, and yeah. it. Stand uh, in the back, do Eldritch Blast, and protect yeah, yourself. Yeah, exactly. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Why not? yeah, yeah I'm going to take that one. How, how often are that. you confronted directly with enemies? That's the thing. <laughs> Never. Yeah. Yeah, I know. How many, how many hit points do you still have, Freon, after the encounter last week? Uh, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, wait, that's Ooh. called being smart. Since I leveled up and I can be even more tanky, it's... Uh, no problem. Yeah, I'm going to take the shadow of Moil. I am now a being that can be feared with a very intimidating presence. Well then, to sum up, what happened last session, as always, we drew a little game. Oh, no. Where we roll a d20. Mm -hmm. And we'll have to find out to de determine... Oh, oh, I have a one. Oh, man, that's fine. I have a one, man. I got a, I got a two. Like a natural one right out of the box. I have a 19. Wait, I got a 2 as well. 11. Oh, so it's either Freon or me. No, but, so... I, but I mean, it's the one that basically just loses. No, 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 a 1 to 10, it's gonna be me. 11 to 20, it's wow. gonna be you. Wow. Here we go. Here we roll. It's a, oh, wow. I can't see it. Yeah, it's, it's a you. 4. <laughs> it's a me. All right. You're lucky. We are all ears. Well, yeah, because none of us remember what happened. Well, yeah. last session we had a big showdown <laughs> of you guys um, basically heading down to Dugan's Hole in the footsteps of finding Sefek, who fled. You tracked him all the way past Dugan's Hole to an icy lodge further south uh, of the small little village. And he more or less ambushed you there with a Remorhas that he's been luring there for unknown sinister reasons. And a battle ensued that almost cost our dear Tiala her life hadn't I'm black fine. hadn't blackwater do like do dove dove in so bravely into the beast's mouth which also almost cost him his life uh -oh. and uh with the genius idea of throwing a what was it again a potion of of smallering diminution of, i don't know what it was called of smallering something <laughs> you threw something. into the beast's mouth and it regurged them back outside before uh the fiery innards were able to devour both of them and after a long and strenuous battle you did manage to fill the beast and uh, and got very badly burned while that yes exactly yeah, because the beast did more or less do damage whenever you struck oh, yeah. it oh yeah so tell us about it Jack. as the <laughs> as the <laughs> the beast's corpse slumped slumped down um and more or less the 
I see a board that's pretty dark as well, by the way. I think one of you... How was it with light? Somebody, I thought somebody was using oh. a light source. I can't remember. I had a torch, but I stopped using it due to obvious reasons as being inside of the damn base and stuff like that. Exactly. Um, so, the beast slumped to the ground. I think, yeah, Bramble was still marked as being... Um, hang on. As being, like... What's the... Freon also has a marker on him, and I can't remember what yeah. it is. I think, uh, it I think mine is concentration. Yeah. But that's basically gone now. But yeah, uh, Freon was the only one who snuck, uh, managed to to kind of like snuck. I think you misty stepped away from the from the beast during the battle, yeah. and kind of tried to find out where Sephic went in the darkness. Um, while both. Uh, the part of your group um, that is uh, near the beast's corpse and both of these spectral bears that Tiala summoned um, are up there. You made your way a little bit down south behind this like icy throne um, that uh, you also now see uh, next to where this uh, where this Remohas came up, this hole in the ground, which is... Oh, I forgot to basically paint something there. It's like something around here. It's not pretty, but it works. I don't know if you can see that. Even. Yep. Good. Uh, that's basically where where the where the hole was, where it came up, and there's this giant like corpse of a uh, what looks like a uh, might have been a frost giant once, but as you've already seen coming into place here, this abode has long been abandoned. Um, Freon, make a quick perception check for me. Yes, perceiving. Not deceiving, perceiving. This time. This time. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's... Yes? Did he die for us? I think he Looks died like for it, us. Yeah, yeah. The twin. Hello? Hello. hello, now you're back. Hello, hello. you just oh, like hello. completely died for us. Oh, what what okay. was it? Uh, 20. A 20. plus 6, yes. Yeah, in the, like, uh, it's, like, very hard to read any kind of tracks in on this, like, icy floor, but you do find uh, a set of, of boot tracks that lead away from this uh, main hall further to the west. However, you hear a sound coming far from the east from the entrance that almost sounds like uh, ice or snow crumbling beneath a boot and glancing over there you see uh, Sefik standing there in the entrance staring um, like past this room towards you um, I don't know if you guys could see him I did unveil yeah. him so please let me know if you can't see him that means I need to like re- where is he? It works, but everyone else can't see him because he's behind. Yeah, the yeah that's true. Because you, you can see the only person who should be able to see him right now is Freon. Yeah. And you can see him uh, standing there, simply smiling. Well, I'll smile back and cast a spell on him. Okay, we're entering initiative that quickly. All right, yeah, well then. I'm, I'm so almost dead. Then all of you, please re-roll for Initiative. Ooh. Oh, Lord. All right. Um, bum, 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 bum. From one battle into the next. Beautiful. No talking, no nothing. So. You guys note down your initiative for me quickly. I just need to, like, switch our music and then get this... Did you Things start the combat? Added. Nope, not yet. I am adding him, and I'm adding Seprion, and I'm adding Sepranwolf, and I'm adding you guys as well. One bear, two bear. Oh yeah, the bears are still there. The bears are there as well. And oh, yes. Tiala, you added yourself, it seems. Did you? Did I? I can't remember. If you roll for initiative, no, I no. think it automatically adds. Okay. Yeah. 
All right, so Blackwater, what's your initiative? Four in total. Uh, four is wow. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Impressive. Very impressive, as always. <laughs> you, you never fail to disappoint. <laughs> four. Okay, Branwolf, what's your initiative? I have Thirteen. I have a plus two in initiative, so that's fifteen. Fifteen. Okay, for the bears, should I roll Tiala? Do you want me to like roll for for one and then just use that for both, so both can go on one turn? Tiala's dead. She's not talking dead. to me anymore. Beep. What? Whatever. <laughs> yes. Beep can pop. you say it again? Beep, pop, boop. <laughs> you did the beep boop. <laughs> beep boop pop. Pop, pop, pop. Beep, Tiala. Boop. Robot captain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna roll. Oh, look, they rolled a one. Perfect. <laughs> so, then we have a one here as well. And Freon? A 22. A 22, all right. <laughs> How fitting, because you get to go first. Cool! So, it is your turn. We shall begin the combat with Freon's. Um, right, I'll, I'll, uh, do I have enough spell slots left? One, two, three, four. Yes. Um, I'll cast Hex on him as my bonus action. All right. So he is going to become Hexed. And... <clears throat> I'll give him disadvantage on. Hang on, need to need to find the spell. Mhm. Mm yeah. Where is it? Um. Uh, on Constitution. Constitution. All right. Might need to. Note that down for me. <laughs> I mean, I do see he's hexed. Um, and I'll cast Puppet on him. Puppet? Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is that a spell? Yes. Yes. <laughs> One I added manually as well. Did you? Oh, yeah, here it is. <laughs> Hello, Puppet. Okay, um, so he needs to do a save. Yeah. So what does your stuff? It's only verbal in this case, I think, puppet. So uh, you utter, it is. yes. You utter your incantation. Um, as you do so, you suddenly see the set of eyes that he has with this like icy blue stare suddenly flare up and almost giving off like this light source of their own illuminating the area around him in this faint cold bluish light and he just like has this little smirk on one side of the face as your spell is simply disregarded i don't like that you hear him speak the words no other holds power over me other than the frost maiden herself dwarf Maybe I'm the Frost Maiden in her beautiful, <laughs> truest form. Truest form. <laughs> All right. Anything else on your turn? Yeah, stupid cunt. I'm gonna hide behind the, yeah, the throne. <laughs> stupid <laughs> cunt. Don't be a, don't be a cunt. <laughs> and <clears throat> I'll I'll shout. Um, what's his name again? Oh, that that white fucker is still there. The white fucker? The <laughs> blue-eyed fucker. White. Blue -eyed fucker. <laughs> no, the white fucker. The white, the white fucker's still the there. The white fucker's still there. Bring out the crosses. All right, Tiala, that brings us to you. I hope she's back. Am I back? Yes, you are back. You were just so silent nice. and cut okay. off before. I'm sorry about your bears. Mm. They have an initiative of one now. Yeah, they should have an, initi an initiative of three, but that's fine. Yeah, it doesn't matter in this yeah. case. Um, so I heard 
Rion shouting, right? Uh, uh, yes, you did hear that as it echoes throughout the ca- icy cavern walls. I'm gonna... What? Bran was just here, just heard fucker? What? what? <laughs> what? Fuck who? Oh, fucker, where's he at? <laughs> Um, I'm gonna tell the bears to attack the guy. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I basically you command them, them on on to attack to the enemy. The you know. Okay. Yeah. And I'm gonna turn into a giant scorpion. Of course you are. Um, <laughs> oh, hang on. Tell us beast wait. forms. I have. The giant, yes, I have the giant scorpion all ready for you if you want to. Wait, but let me just shimmy past the bears. Like, okay. doop, 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 doop. that's shimmy, 20 feet. Go back, shimmy, shimmy, back. And I woof. can't see him. Wait, Jesus. where is he? Um, he is over here, down there. Oh, him, yeah. Uh, okay, ah, now I see him, yes. Okay. okay. So let me actually just give you the. No, you should have ownership already over the thing. So if I make you invisible. Yes. Okay. Then let me just. Whoop! There you are. So the giant scorpion appears. Clitter, clatter, clatter over the ice. Um, and that's it. I'm going to move even closer. Well, maybe like this. So I'm not super in the way, just a little bit. Yeah. And I can't reach him, so I'm just gonna stay there. You're gonna do the ching ching oh. ching with your. But I will arms. hold my attack just in case if he comes closer, then I will attack him. Oh, that was a bonus action to turn into e- the thing. Okay. Good. Then if that's it. Can I hold a multi attack? Uh, it's basically yeah, hold your attack. Once you get closer, you use your attack action, which is multi attack. Okay, you're done. She still cut off for me, but I think it was a yes. <laughs> then we go on to Brandwolf. I can't see Sephic. Where is he at? Or do I, or I'm, or you I'm don't see him from where you're ah, standing. Okay. It's, he's basically, once you move down, over to the right. That's where Tiama sh- Tiala shimmied away. Well, then, even though my ass is badly kicked, I'm going to see if, if I can use one of my... There we go. Come on, man. Ah, move! Scheiße trick. What's wrong now? Mm-hmm. No, I, I don't want to mark it here. Now, move. No! I think, ah, I think I still have control go, over yeah. Brown Wolf. I don't know. No, I have I have it. Yeah, it should be fine, I hope. I'm okay. going to move down. I don't see Tiala now anymore. But... Yeah, that's right where Tiala is down down here yeah, where I'm you just, just were at. Yeah, I'm just gonna why can't I move him? I'm trying to move down 15, 20 feet right here. Doesn't Do you, work. I you, that I have no control. You should have control. I mean, this is just the same as if I move you. Oh no, I see you, Cedric. Yeah. There we go, yeah. Yeah, I'm right behind Tiala, right there. I don't know, maybe Think... you still you still have your thingy, uh... No, it you still have now. the ruler? Uh... No, it, wor- it worked now. I'm standing right behind Tiala. I moved down 15, yeah. 15 feet. Um... How does this work with this intimidating presence? Does he have to see me? Do I have to be close enough? Find the same um, the intimidating presence that you got yeah. is basically a, choose a creature that you can see within thirty feet of you. Thirty feet. Ooh, he's too far. thirty feet, and I think he should be. Oh, he's yeah, 30. he's a. He is not space. No, it's from your token. He's like right at the edge, so he's not close enough. Well, I could. Could have moved down further. Oh God! Yeah. What what did you guys do? <laughs> that may have been me. I'm sorry. How do I remove that? Um, hang on. I can do this. 
First, I have to move Sefeg out of the way, and then I should be able to select. Nope, that's not it. Was it the because template thingy here? Ah, there we go. I should be able to delete all measure templates. Yeah, we can delete all of the measure templates thingies from the scene. There you go. Thanks. Since so Brandwurst does have uh, 20 movement, I could have theoretically moved closer. You can like dash. I mean, you started off up here. Yeah, up here. Yeah. So I'm going gonna... down here would be 20. If you want to, what's your total movement? Is it like 25? 20. I think, I think, 20... I'd have to check if that's. I think changed. if you're wearing. Yeah. Heavy arm. You have a movement of 40 feet, I think, usually. Oh. However, if you're wearing heavy armor, which you are due to the cultist chainmail, um, I think it's just 30 feet in general. Well, then, yeah, move me down 30 so that I'm standing near our scorpion friend and he can see me that I, he's that he has that 30 feet and I'm going to... I mean, you can dash if you want to. Whatever, then dash. I just want to scare the fuck out of him. I just want to see him. Show him all my nudiness and have my pink little schlong hang out or whatever. I don't know what I have to do to scare him. <laughs> so well, I mean, you, you can use your action to dash, but you don't have any actions left then. I mean, what you can do is r walk right up to him and still use your bonus action to hack him in the face with one of your I thought I thought this intimidating presence is going to... Can it's I an action to use it, yes. Yeah. But you're using your action to dash, which is to run mm -hmm. far, 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 far. And if I just walk down the 30 feet, I should be close yeah, enough. Yeah, that, that is close enough, so you could just I use should, that. I should be close, yeah. Yeah. Because I, I mean, walk if down you get a... 30, yeah, there ah, you go. Ah, okay, yeah. Perfect. So basically, yeah, you can, like, okay. shimmy, shimmy past. <laughs> <the ball. laughs> and scare him or do whatever I have to do to the Intimidating Presence. You know? So intimidating presence, blah blah blah. You choose if they can see it must succeed on a wisdom saving throw. Um ba, 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 ba. It's, it's the equivalent of it's the equivalent of hey you looking at me? Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay. looking at me? <laughs> so as you do this, yes. you try to to impress him with all your prowess and try to intimidate and taunt him. But again you see the eyes flaring up close. Oh, you fuck him looking uh him looking you staring you down and uh just quickly saying the only thing i fear is the ice cold grip of the maiden herself barbarian now get out of my way and grip you he's also immune to being frightened Bullshit. oh what else is new oh next time i'll just grip you by the nuts okay <laughs> Well, that's, oh, yes. my, that's my movement. All right. Right, yes. right, in, right into harm's way. Yeah. yeah. Blackwater <laughs> already already said, because we have our chat asking what kind of app we're using. It's Foundry. It's amazingly versatile. Very nice. It Very does good. cost a bit, I think, to use it. Uh, oh, it's yes. like a one-time purchase of $50 or something like that. But yeah. you but can be in to, to get like a license, but just yeah. the way... It's but in, we're rich. <laughs> <laughs> nah, not 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 that, but it's yeah. definitely more or less just the ways you can you utilize it. Yeah, that you, yeah. you can you can watch yourself die in HD with all effects yeah. and everything. It's Great. amazing. And you have everything way, in one you, place. If you want to send us money, be our patrons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For even more foundry goodoriness. That was yeah. subtle. Nice. Good. Of course. Hey, <laughs> I'll I'll sign anything. He's a barbarian. What do you expect? Hey, oh, true, yes. yeah. He's the horde. Yeah, I, true, true. Yeah, I sign pelts, breasts, everything. <laughs> All right, so Bramwolf, that ends your turn. Yes, which brings I knew. Us to Sefek. Of course. Um, you see, as he's like staring at you, suddenly there's like a crack in the wall to the left of you and also to, to the right in this like ice wall. And emerging from this... Um, from this, uh, both both of these cracks, you see movement. You see what looks like uh, tendrils of ice that kind of come out, but like frozen in place. And then suddenly, there's more of a creature to it, as you see two ice methods coming out of the what? wall, oh. which I hope you can see. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Unfortunately, ice muppets. Ice muppets. <laughs> was that a, was that a conjuring spell? 
Uh, nope, it's just a basically an ability that he has. Okay. To piss I mean, it's off. it's not it's it's not it's not a spell. It's more or less just like a feature. <laughs> it's an ability. I just piss people off. Oh, can I can I say that as well next time? Oh, it's not a spell. It's a feature. <laughs> it's, I it's, have. Just, yeah. it's just to piss people <laughs> off. <laughs> Um, so let me add both of these bad boys to the list as well. The ice as you go on one turn, eight and eight. Update combatant. Oh well, look, they go at the same time as Sephic. Isn't that beautiful? Oh. So they shall start, of course. But no. to action. Exactly. So yeah. it's Blackwater's it's turn, turn, right? Yeah. Right, because he... He fucked up his action. They don't do shit. No, sorry. It depends on... They're Muppets. Oh, yes, it depends on the dexterity. If his dexterity is lower, then they are not allowed to go because then um, they are in first, front of him yeah. in the initiative. So first of all, this ice method here... Oh, it's even going to hit Tiala. Beautiful. Ah, um, you see it, it exhaling this uh, cone of cold icy air with ice particles cutting across your skin Branwolf. i need both tiala and Branwolf to make a dexterity saving throw yeah uh yeah uh oh, come on man. that's a nope from me it's a nope from you Admit, this is not wrong. This is very strange. What? 1, 201? That's not... What? I don't know. Something messed up. Let me do it again. <laughs> a D201, yeah. that's what you rolled. <laughs> Something, yeah. What the hell? There we go. You, you can just also click on, like, your yeah, dexterity anoint, thing. A 19, and do I get anything? Like... Um. Yes, so... Uh, Tiala, you take five uh, cold damage. Um, you have unless to mark you're. It on my... Oh, you can't mark mm. that, actually? I don't know. Wait, let me try. You can try it. Just like type a minus five in the health thingy and it should do it Extended. yourself. I never get how you do that. Okay. Well, if you um, right click on it. Plus two. Yes. Oh, I get a plus then two. in the bottom, you type minus five where the health is, and then it, like, deducts it or adds stuff. Ooh, fancy. So I got 21 because I get plus two on the dexterity. Uh, yes, you only take three. Uh, no, sorry. Did we say round down? Ooh. We round down, round right? Down. Yeah. We round up? Yeah. Round down, round, round, round down. Round down, then you take two cold damage. <laughs> Oi, it is so cold in here. And the other ice method runs up to you, Branwolf. Here, and man. is going to strike you with its claws. Is the Santa claws? Well, actually, no, it's not going to do that. It's simply going to run up to you and it's also going to do its ice breath. Because it wants to hit Tiala as well. So again, both of you do a dexterity saving throw for me, please. Again? Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Bother. I've got a 20. I got 10 plus 2 is 12. Um, yes, both of you save and only take 3 I, uh, cold damage. Mm -hmm. I always want to say ice damage. And we go back down to 20. Why can't I write it <clears> in? <throat> Hello? Zero. He's not taking it. There we go. So... Did you add it now? Yes. Yeah, I'm not looking well. I am not looking So, well. now, you see uh, Essek out of thin air, more or less, forming this beautiful, long, like, icicle-like sword in his right hand as he dashes... Um... Oh, no, actually, not yet. He... Dashes forwards a bit, points in your direction, Brad. Wasn't it just his turn? Yeah. Uh, how, 
How many times is he gonna go? The ice methods basically come and they went first and now it's his turn. No, 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 no. But he no, no, conjured no, no, them no, no, up no. on his turn. He conjured ice no, 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 no. It's a feature. It's not an action or nothing. He basically comes with ice methods. Oh, he just shows up as his sword feature, though? Yeah. Well, what else can he do? The, the sword feature is just his weapon. If you okay. don't want me to be like very... No, 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 that's, no, my no, 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 no that's, that's fine, it's just yeah. I don't need to know if he casts a spell or something. No, 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 it's not, it's not, none of this has been a spell. Yeah, this that is be all good to basically know. the more or less features he has due to the uh, Frost Being Maiden's a blessing. Cunt. Being a <laughs> cunt, exactly. Yeah, he's a so, cunt. He shows up with his troop and his entourage and now he's also playing it with his dick. I don't believe this. Okay. Uh, Branwolf. Yes. He looks at you and raises his arm almost in like a choking like manner I and you suddenly feel feel a coldness around your neck. I need you to make a constitution saving throw for can me. Flip on the finger while I do that. You can <laughs> certainly try. Yeah. While I'm choking, I think uh, what do I need? 12 I think Fuck this, I'm gonna do it manually. This is. Uh. That is a 16, and what do I get on my saving throws? Constitution saving throw. And the Constitutione is a. Is a. Come on, man. Why can't it? It's gonna pop it up. This is the only problem with the uh, foundry. Is you can't pop is you need to take a little bit of time to get to know it, which of course not yeah. everybody does. <laughs> well, I, I got I have sixteen, but where's my saving? Sixteen, case? sixteen is enough in any case. Yeah, because I can't. Unless you oh, have here. a minus, but I don't I, think no, you have I a gotta, minus. Well, I got a. I keep confusing. I got fifteen constitution. I got plus two in front and plus six in the back. What does that mean? Plus six is the saving throws. Okay, so that would be twenty-two then. Yes. So you feel um, the the icy grip like close on your throat. However, as quickly as it came, it releases. Um, but the frost still leaves you with uh, pain, uh, mm -hmm. which is a total of seven cold damage. And I still flip him the bird. And you are able to flip him the bird. Yes. The icy finger. <clears throat> And that ends his turn. Well, it's about time, may I say. Jesus. Jeez Louise. So, Brandwurst, can you have to... How much? Seven? Minus seven? I had to uh, yes, minus seven. I'm not feeling too That good. ends his turn and brings us to Blackwater with the brown bears on deck. Yes. I... Super simple turn. Since all of my potions basically expired due to... <laughs> something happening uh i'm just gonna leveling up <laughs> walk my distance towards i the can group. go the distance and uh the scorpion's still doing well right i'm just gonna use my yeah my action and my bonus action to brew two potions and that's gonna be it all right Yes. Pop a bottle, you shake it around. <laughs> the insta insta potions. <laughs> Add a bit of water. Add the a bit of water, a little bit of Kool-Aid. Yeah. <laughs> the lime in the coconut and shake it all up. Alright. Brown bears. Uh, the right one goes first. Do something, do something. I'm not yeah, sure. If, do I have to like move them or you? Well, you control them. Okay. Oh man, this is so. Their movement is forty feet. You told them to move, so they are gonna and move. Take him like forty, and it's getting pretty crowded down there. Yeah, I was thinking the same. Can they like walk around? <laughs> Push me aside. I have to leave any soon, anyways, because well, this is gonna be like the first movement. They still have their action if you want to dash. And they move through all the stuffs happening. Uh, there. Yeah, but once they like leave a certain thing, they might get attacked. Mm -hmm. Sure, whatever they are supposed. To, well, the first one can move through them towards Zephyr. 
So you wanted to like move right inside here or behind him? Behind him. Behind him, all right. So that means, so it's going to dash and both ice methods will use their reaction to attack it with their claws. So that's going to be a 5 and a 19. I'm guessing only the 19 hits. Yep. For a simple 4 slashing damage. Oh, hang on. And 1 cold damage. Uh, you have to mark it off as well. So 5 in total. Um, Alright. And the second one yeah. is going to move down as well. Yeah, he's, he can just move down, like, all the way down, so he's not in the way of Freon. Oh, okay. So, down here, to the bottom. Basically. Yeah, maybe even a little more to the back and the bottom, just, you know, stay ready. Alright. Yeah. And he's gonna hold his attacks until something comes close or something like that. Okay, that brings us to round two with Freon and Tiala on deck. Well, I'm using my bonus action for my maddening Hicks. He's already uh, hexed normally. Yes, I know, but that's mm -hmm. I have. It's a feature I have. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, what does maddening Water. Hex do? A new spell feature? Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! It must be within thirty feet. That's not enough, right? Didn't see that. Nope. So I gotta so move almost. <laughs> Round it down and then it'll work. Gonna gonna move uh, ten. This would be thirty right 15. behind the scorpion here. 20. Well, that's fine. I can move up to twenty-five, right? Uh, yes. Then it's enough. Um. So as he's cursed by my Hicks, he's getting uh, four. Psychic damage. Psychic damage. Okay. Um, so hang on, I wonder if the... If that should trigger my Hicks as well, right? Uh, where he uh, takes more damage? Whenever, uh, whenever you hit with an attack, it's not an attack, is it? No, it's a spell. I'll... Duh, but it all <laughs> can be Yeah, I mean... Let me think about this for a, a second. I mean, it's got the word target in it, so I feel like it's an attack. <laughs> what What does the Maddening Hex thing... No, or is it like the Hex we're talking about now? Well, the Maddening Hex is what I posted in the... Uh, and the Hex is... Uh, deal an Hex uh, until... You're cursing something, ends. so... The target so that, whenever he hit it with an attack. Also, yeah, I think. That's the hex. Uh, also, choose one ability when you cast. Oh no, that's like the other thing. Yeah, it is a normal attack, a spell as well. Like if it's a, it's, it's right. a spell attack basically. So he gets he gets four ten damage, uh, four psychic, and six necrotic. So ten in total. Yes, and the, then um, for the maddening Hicks, I'm gonna extend that to um, to the little uh, icy smithit in front of him. He takes four damage as well. Uh, the psychic damage equals ba 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 as a bonus action with a warlock. When you do so, each creature and each creature that you can see within five feet of it oh okay so uh, how much does it take sorry four because the other the other method is yeah more ten than feet five away. feet right yeah okay yeah <clears throat> and second action is eldritch blast so maddening x was a bonus action yes okay yes as a bonus action huh? mm -hmm, mm -hmm, now i'm mm -hmm. using my feature so i still have my action lift right <laughs> for you, Eldritch Blast. Because Eldritch a Blast is a feature, right? Because you are blessed by the uh, evil one that you. Yeah, exactly. 
So oh. it's a uh, nope, 20... it's an action. It's an action. 27 for the first one, and that uh, hits. And that uh, 20, uh, 17 plus 8, 25 for the second one. That also hits. Um, he must really have not many hit points because he's relying on so much magic. Oh, sorry about that. Mm-hmm. 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 Uh, uh, 24. No, hang on. 10, 14. War- Warlock is the 22. Mass. 20. 22, 22 damage, damage in total. Yes. All right. He's looking barely injured, but the impacts definitely seem to catch his attention. I don't like his attention, though. All right, anything else? How do else? you like your Ice Maiden now? Bitch. <laughs> Bitch. Yeah, no, that's it. I can't move anymore. Um, and as supposedly my Eldritch Blast is not a feature, mm-hmm. I don't have any actions left. All right. So as both of these uh, Eldritch Blasts hit him, he, like takes them and the brunt of them and snarls and uh almost like uh still with a with a chuckling voice just says the sunblight clan will claim these wintry lands soon enough and not even you can stop it and that brings us to tiala who the sunblight clan yeah who (laughs) never heard of them and Tiala, it's up to you. Okay. With so, Grand Wolf afterwards. I want to move closer. Like, what two feet? Five feet. Okay. And I want to wrap uh, the first ice. The first loops ice loops. method. Yes. So okay. my claw is gonna attack them. Mm hmm. By the way, That's I just want to say bad. that the music we're using is amazing. If you want to find out more, check out all of our show notes, all of the amazing artists um, that have given us the okay to use it and are sometimes, most of them are also listed under Creative Commons and more. Uh, they're all in our show notes and descriptions, so be sure to have a look there. So, what did you roll, Tiala? A nine. A nine. Sadly enough, the ice method is too dexterous and simply evades, almost merging into the wall and coming back out of it as this little elemental, almost you can hear the ice clinkering around and it almost sounds like snickering laughter. The other claw is going to attack as well and that's a Uh, 20. The 20 hits. And it takes 1d8 damage. That's 8 damage. How much? Bludgeoning. Yeah, 8 bludgeoning. And it's magic, just in case that matters. Um, ba, 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 bum. Okay. Um, actually, how much damage? 8. Eight bludgeoning magic damage. So, from the bludgeoning impact, you see it shattering in parts and getting cracks as you notice how the bludgeoning damage seems to be, uh, or at least this ice myth, it seems to be very vulnerable to it. Nice. So, and now it needs to do a dexterity saving throw, right? But why? No. Huh? I thought no. since you're like grappling or something? It is grappled. It can try to escape on its turn. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yes. Each week soon, April. Okay, gotcha. Yep, 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 yep. And then? So, am I slower with the thing grappled? Yes. If I try oh to God. walk? Yes, since it's like struggling around and you're carrying it. But I would just want to go 10 feet and I You still just have, have like half your movement usually. Yeah, so that 
can I go like this? Yes, Is this manageable? It, because there's so much going on. <laughs> there's so much going on in this small little <laughs> 10 foot wide uh, corridor. Okay, anything okay. else? I want to attack uh, Sefek, what's his name, right? With my mm -hmm. sting. With your sting. Okay, go ahead. At uh, 20 to hit. Ooh, I forgot something. Uh, 20 no. to hit, that hits, yes. And he has to make a constitution saving throw. Ooh, and he does so with disadvantage. Indeed. Why? Because oh, of my okay. hex. Because of the hex. Six. Um, oh, wow. That is a natural 20 and a two. Nice. Oh. However... He, he has, has legendary feature. resistance. He has a feature Motherfucker. where he what, what will. Is, what, is, what is this cunt? Twice a day. He's. It's called a boss, Branwolf. <laughs> You've been hunting this guy for quite some time. You think you get some I... easy commoner with a sword? Yeah, I don't know why we're even fighting He's now. We're by we're a goddess. Our... We already got our. Well, so am I. She ain't doing shit for me. <laughs> I've got the big crow behind me. Yeah. Big well, raven she, blessing my she ass. chooses to manifest in other blessings yeah. and ways. Yeah. You'll see once you get there. So yeah, once I die I again. I needed her, her, <laughs> her help. But yeah, if Sephic oh, fails a saving throw, he can choose to succeed instead twice a day. And since uh, my dear girlfriend did not bring me a pen so I can note this stuff down. Oh well, I think he still has both. And now the DM gets <laughs> worse. Now he gets personal on this. No, wow. but actually I really yeah. I, I need to like... Watch him dis his... Watch him diss his father now. Yes, <laughs> there we go. Alright, okay, so he still has one left. Yeah. Okay, Tiala. That ends he your turn? takes... Four piercing damage. Four piercing. And he still takes the ten. Twenty-four. Twelve. Poison damage. Poison yeah. damage. Twelve because, in total. Yeah, it's half because he succeeded. It was twenty-four, what? <laughs> yep. Okie dokie. Yep. He's and showing signs of blood and, and the poison seems to take what, holes. already? <laughs> um, can I? Wait, let me think. 25. I still have 15 feet left. I just want to turn around. No, no, no. You only have half your movement speed, though, due to the carrying. Yeah, but I don't want to move. I just want to turn around and present the ice morphos something to Brandwolf so he can hit it better. I want okay. to kill so I'm holding it, you know, and then we're flanking. The and... <laughs> oh, I don't want no Muppet. I want to kill the cunt. Okay, if it's uh, that's what you wish. Yes, that's perfect. All right. I mean, you can just hit it, and then you can go or something if you want to. Yeah. It's grappled, so it yeah, should be to... easy to Same. hit. Hit, got, hit got, it! Hit it! Got three <laughs> attacks anyway, so... Exactly, that's what yes. I'm doing. So, okay. Then, is it my turn? Uh, yes. If Tiala's done, then yes. I'm okay. done. Okay. So, I'm gonna take old Leroy and gonna... Hit a Muppet, which he is kind of holding for me. 17 plus old Leroy. Come on, boy. Where you at? Where Leroy? Leroy. Ooh, what happened? I have... Everything says DNDSE, DNDSE, DNDSE. Hmm. Something just happened to Brandwolf here. What? Yeah. DNDSE? Yeah, it's... Everything that I have... Maybe you need to just reconnect or whatever. Yeah, something. No. <clears throat> no he's, he's got a miss. He's got. Okay. Um. Shit. Let me see. You can just yeah, try and reconnect to the. Yeah, session. it's it's not it's not it's uh, everything says 
No, it's D and D, D and D five E, D and D five E, everywhere. But um, yeah, I can't even. He can't even tell me. But you can tell me what uh, what Le what, what uh, Leroy and Jenkins have. Leroy, I think is. Well, first you need to like roll a d20. Yeah, I had seventeen, and then I get against the. What are you attacking? The ice method. Uh, the right? Muppet. Yeah, I just want to. The Muppet. Seventeen plus. Is it six? Uh, it definitely hits. Okay. And. Da, 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 da. And it would be. Two, five. Oh yeah, but it's basically plus... that's all. There's no bonus or anything. No. Okay. Well, it would be on Leroy's bonus. Doesn't he have a bonus? Like I said, I can't look it up. Somehow I can't get on. I can't open Brandwolf. So um, um, if you can check and see. So Leroy is basically your normal yeah, attack. He's, he's so you add your strength. Attack. You definitely hit. Yeah. It's just a one d six. Yes. You're not it. raging. No. So it's one d six plus your strength modifier. So five plus my strength. Uh, that should be enough to damage it. Five so plus did you roll a five? Six. Yeah, I rolled a five, and yeah, now I have. It's Ten. Strength. Yeah, so that should kind of turn into ice cubes. Um, and it is slashing damage. So it is looking really bad and holding what? on by a thread. Still? Yep. Oh, come on, really? Yep. Well, then well, then Jenkins is going to take over. But you still have your extra attack as part or, of your... Or that, okay. Then you need to do be, both of them first. Yeah. Five. That would be a 19 to hit. That also hits, yes. And then uh, that is three plus one, another eight damage. Eight, yes. So this eight. is definitely enough to bring down the ice method into ice okay. cubes. So we've got ice cubes there. And it's a dead. Then this I've first one. my... So we got those two, and then I still got plain old Jenkins. I guess I'm mad as well. Your offhand attack, yeah. Yeah. Then again, he's fighting bear and scorpion, probably. I'm going to move, because I don't think any of them are close enough to... to uh, to get a, or would they get an attack of a, what's it called the no, opportunity? No, opportunity. nobody's close no, enough for thing. you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move up the black water because my ass is really badly kicked. So lots of blood loss. Yeah. So that's it for me. All right. And that brings us to the ice method that is still alive, who is going to. Um, can I click on him? Yes, there we go. He is going to fly into the air about 15 feet. Tiala, you get an attack of opportunity against him. Bring due it. to him doing that. Break it. 16? Uh, 16 hits, yes. Go ahead and do damage. Bring it down. 8 bludgeoning damage. Eight bludgeoning damage. So a total of 16 bludgeoning damage. What? So you get a good clunk onto him as he kind of like flies up with the icy wings and stays there. And he hurls down another uh, rain of this frost breath towards you. So you need to do a dexterity saving throw. That's better. Terry, that's a 22. That is definitely enough. So you only take four cold damage from the frost breath. And since um, Branwolf killed the other one, I need. You, Branwolf, and Tiala to make another dexterity saving throw, actually. Because 
Ew, that's a one. 14 and dexterity is two. That's a 16. A 16. So, Branwolf, you succeed, only taking one uh, slashing damage. Oh. And Tiala, you take three as the ice method that Bramble struck down explodes into a shard of ice with its death burst. It's fine. So. It is just not working. I'm gonna. I'll be. I'll be right back. Don't worry. I'm gonna get out of foundry and back in. I'm just having. Yeah. Then I'm just gonna like add problems the, here. The thingamajig. Yeah, I'm going to get back somehow. So, Dude, new that brings us to Sephic again. Who is going to... Mm-hmm. <laughs> he has so much stuff. Um... Yeah. I think that's what he's going to do. He is... Well, actually, no. Uh, within melee range. Um, <laughs> Sorry I'm taking so long. But he also has... Ah! There we go. 30. <laughs> uh, Tiala, you s uh, briefly, well, you don't really see it because you're turned around, but behind you, you hear this whoosh, whooshing noise. Uh, Sefik uh, vanishes from clear what? sight only to reappear right next to Branwolf no. again. Oh. And oh, he grabs you again, right in the throat area, uh, Branwolf, saying, another one touched by a goddess. Oh, the Frost Maiden will be so happy. Shut the fuck up. And he is going to use uh, as a... Yeah, he used the Misty Step as an action, so he's going to use his legendary action, uh -huh. which is the Frost Maiden's Kiss once more. I need you to do a Constitution uh -huh. saving throw. Let's do this nice and official. There we go. It's a 20. We're going to roll. Do it. Have everybody have a look. That's 12, and old Branny has... Constitution plus six. That's eighteen. Eighteen. That is enough. However, ouch. Ouch. Keep it going. Um, that is. It's not much because I rolled super shitty. Um, you are going to take five cold damage. But again, you do have enough willpower to resist the Frost Maiden's kiss. Okay. But I have five damage, so that's... Yeah. I'm down to seven. Right now. Five cold damage. Yeah. And... Uh, yep. Yep, that's it. That was the legendary action and the Misty Step. So he's good. Brings us to Blackwater. Yes. Uh, is is Sefik still holding uh, Branwell by the throat, or? No. It was basically he 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 just reaches out and do, does that magic bit. Gotcha. So like I casting this Frost Maiden's kiss with which is not a spell with one yeah. potion in each hand. I look at Branwolf and basically force feed him each of them. Uh, that's. <laughs> That's action and bonus action, I assume. Uh, which? Uh, yeah. 3d6 plus 5 for each. First one gives you 16, and the second one gives you 
15, so you return, you recover Wee! 31 health. Wow, ain't that my brother. Health? And now, um, Thank you, bro. the, this, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw like the biggest and baddest monsters at you motherfuckers oh. next time. The gentleman the is worst not, things I can find. he's not, uh, engaged with me, right? I can just run away without getting attacked. Oh, uh, no, he can, like, strike you. You are in within melee range right. of him. Right. I... But it's, it might not be much. You never know. No, he, no. Has, he hasn't used his sword at all. Nobody knows what the oh, effects of that bad boy that are. Great. You know what? I so... feel very safe next to my <laughs> very beautiful uh, barbarian. Barba so... Barbaric brother who is now feeling kind of... A bit better. I feel good. Re reinvigorated. I feel good. Little, 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 little. So with that, yeah. I, uh, I'm done. Yeah. And that's it, yeah. I have nothing else. So, that brings us to the brown bears. Tiala, what are the brown what? bears doing? The brown bear on the right is going to attack the ice. The ice Muppet. 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 It's Muppet. a Muppet puppy. It's a Muppet! You fought them Muppet. once Muppet. before. In your first adventure, Tiala, when you Maybe. joined up with Freon and Branwolf. No, Freon wasn't there, sorry. When yep. you joined up with Branwolf and uh, Lucian back uh, in the Sunless Citadel, you fought Ooh, a. A method. A smoke method or something like that? Or a, yeah, no, a mist. A mist. A mist, mist steam, method. steam method, I think it yeah. was. Yeah. Methods are basically lesser elementals. Hmm. Oh, well. well, yes, the bear is gonna first wait, fight the Muppet. Muppet? Muppet. <laughs> well, actually, it's, although, it's... what's the bear's reach? Because he is like uh, 15 feet in the air. He's oh, flying. right. Okay, never mind. So, does the bear have like the something? The bear is staring at him angrily. <laughs> ah, get down here in bear language. Exactly. Okay. Okay, then the left bear is gonna attack Sephic. Well, it's gonna walk up to him and then. Okay. Attack. Bite him in the butt. Well, he is flanking with bite Brand Wolf. Nice. Bite him in the butt. Well, he's bite gonna him. bite him. Yes. That's good because that's a 1 and a 19. Good. The 19 hits. Bite him in the butt. Bite him in the butt. And he takes seven piercing damage. Hmm. Chomp. Mm hmm. Seven. As he bites a good chunk out on his butt. And okay. the claws are only a 14. 14 still hits. Okay. Yeah, so he's not he... wearing. He's just wearing this like leather jerkin and is very exposed. You know, even though the elements are there. Slash is um, exposed parts. However, what you what you do see, what well actually what Branwolf noticed before, is that uh, you saw while he uh, like reappeared next to you, Branwolf, before he uh, attacked you. Almost this little these weird particles in the air around him. That kind of like sucked back into where you saw like cuts and bruises mm. around him. And he seems to be healing a little bit over time. Oh, we have to do it. Well, that have to, has to be remedied. That has to be changed. Um, so, claws? Claws are 15 slashing damage. Whew. Okay. Yeah, he's and still showing signs of wear and tear. Then the bear is gonna move back because he knows his mama wants to hit as well later, so he's not in the way. Then Sephic will use that and his reaction to oh, no. strike um, the bear with his blade. Sure. Um, you also see his blood seems to be blue, not red. That's weird. Um, That's kind of disgusting. So yeah, he is going to um, attack the bear with his ice longsword. 
which is a 22 to hit. Yes, that hit. And that is going to be... Here's my dice. Um, oh, that is going to be 12 slashing damage. And... Yes, we have to back it down. Yep. Uh, remind myself. 12. And a total of 4 cold damage, so 16 in total. Mm -hmm. So he cuts with both, using both hands, the sword as the bear retreats. He cuts it down pretty good. That ends the bear's turn, then it brings us to Freon with Tiala on deck. What about the other bear? Oh, he didn't it, do it. Uh, yeah, yeah, he was um, angry. <laughs> yeah. um, he's angry. He has his reaction back, so if I would move out of his reach, he would attack me, right? He, or he, would, he uh, would have no, no, the, oh. He has it back when it's his turn again, so you're good. So I can move. Uh, yeah. Excellent. Um, you can run, like you always do. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, first. he just brings a distance between himself yeah. and the, healthy, and his strategic. Healthy, healthy distance. A healthy um, social distance. Last him. Well, I'm going to use the bonus action for the Maddening Hicks again. Mm -hmm. So he gets seven damage from that. Alrighty. And, well, the, the, the two Eldritch Blasts again. In his face. In his face. In the yeah, because he turned around. He is so in his face. In the Fura's face. It's an 18 to hit for the face. first one and a natural 20. Ooh. And so both of them hit. Okay. So for I'm the natural do... 20, you can use double your damage die. This is this might get painful for him. I'm gonna roll the fourth one. So it's eleven for the first one. Oh nice. H-T-Y-W-D-T, the W-D-I. The math is happening. Yeah, 30, 20, 27. 27 in total. For the second one. So 13 what? for the first one and 27 ah. for the second one. Ooh. Ah, gotcha. And that's force damage as well. Right. Yes. Uy, 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 uy. Um, How dead? HD He's, he seems badly D injured I? from the looks he of He is uh, badly injured, yes. He looks like uh, there is not much uh, missing. However, Ooh. you, no matter what you do, you do kind of see he still keeps his witty grin about him. And he does not seem to be intimidated even by impending doom. Oh. He has a second phase. Bullshit. No. <laughs> oh, no. Second. no, no. No, come on. I mean, there are, there are bosses and there are... There are uber and there's, cunts. Ja and there's Japanese bosses. No, there can't be an uber cunt. He's just a cunt. Not an uber cunt. It's a feature. It's fine. No. It's a feature, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to start... I will fixed. show you my true form! I will show you my feature. A battle is it that you want? Well then! And he changes like the whole lodge explodes, you know, and arena changes and everything. Suddenly you're like uh, back in the hills in the second layer. Like the one that's made of ice and everything. and everything. Yeah, there's like a crowd of devils cheering him on. Ooh, 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 ooh. So yeah, um, that... And I'm your done. turn, Freon. You're yep. done. Then Tiala. The scorpion is gonna move up to him. Well, if you're doing that, the then the ice method is gonna do another frost breath at you. But he's 15 feet away. Yeah, and it's a 15 foot cone. Ah. <laughs> uh... So do it. Ex oh, sorry, I don't even need to roll. You need to roll. Do a dexterity saving throw for me, please. That's eight. 
eight. So you take a total of uh, three cold damage. They're just little pests, nuances on the side, you know. These ice mephits. Yeah. So, question. Yes. When I attack him with my claw, I automatically grapple him. Can I still attack with my other claw? Just theoretically? Yes, right, but you yes? can only grapple two different creatures. Yes. Then yes. he's double grappled. No. Oh no. You can grapple <laughs> him in one claw. Yeah, but can't okay. you attack it with the other claw? So like hold him and then oots, oots, oots. Yes. She Do can, I like, get use advantage on the second one then? You when already get advantage anyway, since you're flanking with Branwell. It's a double advantage. Like and yeah, no, exactly. you wouldn't. And no, you wouldn't. A natural it's 20. a feature. Yeah it's, yeah, it's a natural 20, yeah. So, first of all, you are getting advantage due to Brandwolf. Second of all, no, if he would be grappled, you wouldn't be getting an advantage on it. <laughs> Dang. Okay, then I just attack to clear that up. with my two claws. Oh, and they are super bad, both of them. And that's an 11 and a 10. Uh, for the attacks. Oh, wait. Yes, that means the first. Yeah, so 11. Because I have advantage, I already forgot. Uh, again. Not enough. No, second. So no. the first one misses as he just like. It's a 20. That hits. Where's my D8? Yeah. That's seven bludgeoning damage, and he's grappled. Seven bludgeoning damage. He seems weak in and your grasp. And I'm gonna grasp. sting him. Sting him away. With a 16. 16 hits, yep. Ding. And he has to make a constitution saving throw. No, he does not. Do we want to okay. kill him? So, <laughs> as you grapple him in the okay. one hand, Delight. and the stinger, like, shoots right into his chest, um, you seem like kind of like tense up and, and freeze up as suddenly all around him almost like like all of his skin there's like this crust of ice that just forms up and and keeps him in place and you suddenly see like also parts of the legs already like breaking away uh with his last words that kind of like choke out just saying the sun blight will claim all of you. And like all of the ice kind of moves over his face and it starts to like crumble into these little bits and pieces as the poison of your stinger also shoots out of like gaps in between here and there. And he just crumbles to the ground. Just kill nice. Good job. Uh, also, at the same time, the ice method over there yes. explodes in the air, and the shards of ice simply fall to the floor as well. Nice, I killed it. And that what? ends our battle. Was that yeah. it? I thought we were gonna fight a boss. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> where's the boss? Like yeah, taking candy from a baby. <laughs> Well, you I got wait. my ass double you kicked wait. last time. Next episode <laughs> called Time to Reroll Characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The next episode is How was that with Bramble? What happens when you die? <laughs> we say yes. the rest. I don't know where, but this is not a comfortable lodge. Even though, was this a lodge in the middle of nowhere? Or where was this? Basically, we yeah. him to? It was a lodge, theoretically. Well, I'm. Yeah. yeah. Could yeah. probably rest here. What is the sun sunlight sunblight clan he was talking about? Oh. Have you have you heard of that before? Can I do? Because I don't remember. Uh, some blight clan would, history would, would, check would, or something? would a skill thing know that history check or or would I have heard of that? I don't know. Yeah. Um, make a make a. Hmm. Make a history check with advantage, Freon. Okay. 
None of the others would know. Oh, okay. What's it called again? Sorry, Sunblight. Sun Sunblight. Clam. Oh, good, good. I have that. I have advantage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's a, a twenty and a one. Twenty and a one. There you go. Um, you don't immediately like know or don't think that you've ever heard of like, uh, like a clan called Sunblight. Um, it has kind of like a dwarven ring to it almost um however as basically while you're thinking about this something that comes to mind uh, that you're reminded of is that perhaps uh hlin trollbane the um dwarven lady the old veteran that kind of sent you out to find sefik she might have an idea or at least might know more um because the 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 way of the name how it sounds and how it rolls over your tongue your best guess is that it might be durgar like the deep dwarves that dwell in the underdark we don't talk about them yeah that it might have something to do with them it almost sounds like a durgar name are you telling us anything? <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll let you know that this... Uh, it sounds to me like a name from a deep, deep dwarven clan, but we don't talk about them. Aren't you part of a deep... We don't talk about them. Okay. They Those don't exist. Are... Those no, are I, never mentioned. I, I, there's not much known um, between the normal dwarven clans, but maybe we can have a chat with Hlin. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, do we need anything? I mean, it looks like he's ice cubes, or is there anything? A pendant or anything that he was wearing do we need something as a proof that we that we more or less uh you see his blade lying there oh that's an idea i believe I that's something uh, no. and it also uh, like looking at it it has the same kind of it's a it looks like a very like finely made like shard yeah like a blade but with a nice grip made of ice and it has these little um almost like um, like this icicle crust around uh, its edges as well that remind you of the wounds um, yeah. that you saw both on um, Stinky and yeah. I think you guys found another corpse as well. We had that one corpse then. which yeah. we said that had looked like an ice. Yeah. yeah. Um, is, um, it, is it a light or a finesse weapon? You know? Can we analyze it? Um, yeah. Sure. You can analyze it. Yeah, I do my usual. Who, yeah, check with would, a knife and see what's up. Who would? Yeah, see. It definitely cool. seems to be magical. Right. And um, are you taking it into your? In I'm well. Hang on. Let me just. Well, I'm not touching it. Oh, okay. I'm it definitely maybe, seems to be magical. I'm debating maybe. if it's if it's big enough for me, for or if it. Something which I wouldn't be using if it's like a toothpick for the barbarian. I wouldn't be Maybe using. let Tiala or me first have a look at it. Yeah. Uh, we'll in case idea. there's some weird magic going on. Yeah. Yeah. We kind of step back and let you guys. You need to. You analyze. need to. Rest probably is. Well. Oh yes. I'm wondering if it's safe enough to crawl over to one of these chairs and just kind of stretch out and have a long rest. I mean, do you guys still want to have a look around? Is anybody like taking the blade now, or what's what's the plan? Uh, I'm 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 letting it lie until the until Brion and Tiana. Oh, you have want to basically a... identify it on the spot? Yeah, yeah, yeah right there. Okay. Yeah. I, I, I want to try to open the chest. Uh, you can use a short rest to identify. Yeah. McNugget. But do you want to take a short rest right now, or should we have a look around first before? 
we risked here. Um, Not that there's more surprises. Like yeah. other other yeah. things bursting out of the ground. Yeah, maybe. And but... you getting eaten again. Well, maybe we should have a look around, but uh, have a look at this. Have a look at the sword too. So. Well, I mean, the uh, examining the sword is going to take a short rest. Okay. Yeah, I don't <clears> want to <throat> spend um, a pearl on it now. Okay. In, but, as, we need a, um, as we need to take a rest, anyways. Tiala, you said you want to head over to the where the chest was, right? Yes, to the stinky way. The stinky one. All right. Um. Yeah, you see that it's uh, the chest itself kind of looks like a almost six foot long, five foot wide and five foot tall stone chest, which is like half buried under a like kind of slope uh, of ice um, and therefore is basically keeping it shut. That's why I try to do it in scorpion form, because I was hoping I'm stronger like this. Okay. Um, you can try, but it's gonna take you a good half an hour or so to like chip away at that ice without using like would any tools if you're just using your scorpion form. Yeah, would I know if it would be faster if I just used my flame, my magic flame, to burn away the I ice? Also, have a torch melt. to melt it, probably. Then I will come back later to the chest and check out the rest of the house, whatever this is, first. The lodge. Lodge. Uh, Blackwater, so, shall yeah. we have a look back back there? Yes, uh, let me know if I should tur um, ah, just get rid of my torch in case there's something we could startle. Because I do have one ignited right now. Also, I'm bringing a bunch of potions on the side as I'm walking. So, do you guys want to take a short rest? <laughs> I'm first gonna have a look around. It all sounds like very short rest activity to me. Or oh. do you want to first uh, check out the rest of the place? Yeah, yes, just check out have a look scared. around at the back before. Yes. Whether we rest. they're chesting out, I'm gonna walk over to right here, prop my legs up. And, There's uh, a bed here. I think it's more comfortable. Is there a bed? Yeah. Where? Um. Yeah. Over down to uh, the west where you guys are heading. Um. Wonder. You Half see the, that the the, the only furniture in this like big cavernous like chamber is what looks like a big ass fur bedroll. The fur itself seems matted and musty as well. Perfect. That's my kind of bed. Uh, is that where Freon is at, or yeah, where... yeah, further down I'm, even? I'm coming. There we go. I'm laying down. Oh, here it is. Perfect. Okay. I'm snoozing. And um, past that, there seems to be another storage-like area, um, because in the room behind it, you recognize another kind of hole similar to the one in the main entryway that you're <laughs> guessing was one of the ways the Arema has maybe initially burrowed itself um, in. Through, yeah. And there's time. like a very foul scent that kind of pervades the whole of the room. And you see five large barrels uh, standing around. Um some of them seem to be broken apart with like this thick liquid uh, around it that immediately Blackwater recognizes as being whale oil. Mm, nice. Um, and there seems to be one intact barrel. Um, and like shoving it around, it's about 500 pounds. Isn't whale oil fairly expensive? Yeah, it's fairly valuable. I mean, make a quick, straight intelligence check for me, Blackwater. Badly. I mean, Brown Wolf can just... Um... I'm snoozing. I'm out. You guys are going to have to wake me up. Uh... Before we go, go. 
I'm resting. That's gonna be a oh god a, eight. An eight? <laughs> Intelligence. You do my, know... my strongest fucking thing. Yeah, please. Sorry. Did the DM just freeze? Yeah. He's in. Yeah. Hello. Yes. Hello. He I'm back. He's back. Do you hear me? Okay. Yeah. He's back. Um, you do know with your eight, uh, it's used throughout ten towns, but you can't quite put a price on it. But it's worth a bit, definitely, as it can only be harvested by like whales uh, beneath like the cavernous ice, and especially probably far to the north to the Sea of Moving Ice. Um, you're not quite sure if there's any in the lake. But it would be a bit weird. Well, yeah, we can see about that later. I think there are more important things to do right now. Yeah, let's do a short rest. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So Brown Wolf is gonna. You can um, like spend hit die to heal yeah, up. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. I don't know how many you still have. We'll have to see. Let me see. have a look here. Um, who wanted to like sit down with the blade? If I'm gonna turn that, back you... and shoot Tiala. Yeah. Okay, nice. so poof, Tiala. But I back. also need my uh, rest for hit dice. Yeah, I can. Same. Yeah, I can do. I'm. I'm fine. I can check the blade if you want to rest. And I mean, of course, you should always have at least one person watching. Tara is watching. Yes. Ah. Okay. Gotcha. <laughs> Well, then have, have Tara do a perception check for me. Indeed. And, um, oh god, I need to, like, recheck. Oh, no, are, do you want to, like, cast Identify as a spell? No. You want to just use, uh, do, like, arcana. an Arcana check. Okay. Yeah. But I can't yeah. remember how it was. Oh. I think it was just a simple Arcana check. No. So I have a natural and... 20 for Tara watching. Oh, okay. I got 10 from 10 hit die, so I, I can... I can. <laughs> how many can I use for a short rest? As many as you need or want, yeah. but they're gone um, until you do a long rest again. Yeah, but um, hit mm. dice... What are my hit dice? What dice do I have? T12, is that, could that be? Select dice to roll? No. The short rest you may respond to the yeah. So here we go. The official rules. Um, you can focus during while being in physical contact. And. Um, yeah, okay, so give me an Arcana check. Mm -hmm. That's how we did it before. 22. Ooh, 22. You sit down and you know everything with a 22. Neat. So, um, let me unveil this and then put it identify so where's freon freon there you are okay i'm gonna add it to your inventory mm -hmm. should be there now under your weapons the blessed icicle Ooh. um Then, yeah, are any of you still looking around in terms of, like, loot or anything else? I mean, if there's enough time, I would do it, yep. Yeah. Didn't Tiana I mean, want to so... check the chest as well? Ooh. Yes, Depends but on I what want, you want to, to rest do, yeah. first. Rest first, okay. So do I will cuddle rest. on my bears as long as they are still here. Yeah, they're going to pop away after the rest. I would still yes, but as long as they are here, I will just sleep on them because they are fluffy. Fluffy. No. Oh. Why is he not counting the other hit dice? Come on. So, Tiala, you also healed up? I'm still working on it. 
but yeah. <laughs> One hit die, yeah. two hit die, three. <laughs> I don't die. know how to do it differently. I don't know. But yeah, I. Where is rolling them hit dies? All of mine now. So the bears are gonna vanish. I'm gonna delete them. I, mean, I can, I can still gone. cast spells on you before we rest because I get them all back, anyways. Okay. So I got five from ten left, and I'm up to ninety. That's okay. I'm good in rest. I'm also nearly perfect. Yeah. I got half of my hit dice <clears throat> left, and I'm up to ninety. Spending right. seven hit dice to recover sixty-seven. Hit dice. <laughs> That's me. Oh, I can use my Song of Rest I have. Hang on. Ah, uh, they are already spending all of their hit die. That's that's fine. What does it do? It's, it's, it's this. What does it do? Yeah. I'm gonna play, play some soothing music on my... Uh, on yourself? Or does it for everybody? A dragon, dragon bone pipe. <laughs> um, it's for you, actually, that Smooth you can oh, regain nice. an extra 1d6. Oh, nice. One moment, please. For each hit die that we used? No, I don't think so. <laughs> oh, one Just D6. one. Well, I'm already full. I, it's... I can punch you yeah. if you want to yeah. like <laughs> regain more again. Sure. <laughs> Regains an extra 1d6 boy. Any, any of them, yeah. One well, one. either yeah, both. Bramwolf and Tiala, since yeah, they were kinda. healing. I, was also I rolled a one, there. so... I have to go a back one. on it. I just flew out of Foundry again. My god, today is a real problem. Come on, get back in there. Keep I back. feel like the Wi Fi is really shitty over here. Maybe it's that's why you've got problems. Nah, here as well, yeah. We have it's like done. issues. That's what I meant with over here. Yeah. Over here. Come on, man. Yeah, this is really fucked up today. I just want to see if I can get that one. D6 back in, and then sure, then I have to take something against my toothache because it's killing me. I don't know how long you guys want to think since we this. I think it's a good, good time here. Some of no, 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 not yet because oh, I no. need to know oh, where you no. guys, I need to know where you guys are headed okay. for next session. What do okay. you like? One moment here. Here. Because we were searching for the caravan that's supposed to be set up well, it's at two a more camp for me. at 20 stones or two something. Two more for you, yeah. Two more for you. Are you going to add them or should I add them? I can add them, yeah. Yeah, add them. Then I'm, I should be up to 90. 98 is what you're at now. Very nice. Wait, we were following... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. He took it off my hit dice now. That doesn't... No, I don't want that. I got that from him. I, I used the six, and now he's, he took it off a hit dice. So I have five hit dice left. Yeah, I can add another hit dice. Read that, please. So, so I'm 98, but I still have five hit dice. Just have an idea. Thank you, for the bo thank you for the bony song, my dwarven friend. Just to be clear about our trajectory, we followed Sefek. Uh, yes. Actually, we followed Stinky and Sefek after they like made a mess at the prison. In hopes that we would find the, um, well, the Torg um, caravan, right? That was the plan. Mm -hmm. So we found Sefek. We killed Sefek. We killed Sefek. Yeah. And now we've no idea where the hell the caravan is, right? You don't know where the caravan is, yeah. Yep. Well, fuck. Well, we could go back to uh the little village it depends they... on what you guys set out to do because initially you were looking into like the murders and who caused them and everything well yeah I, yeah i think well we, we kind of say yeah kind of solve that now with our icy our little icy did we... but the here. question is if he is like only a middleman and the whole caravan is behind it or if he was acting on his own that's it and if I he think did, if, um, and if there are more weapons like this, or if he has the only one. He did state something last session. He did. Before you uh, fought against the Remo house, yes. Mm. He said that um, more or less uh, neither you nor Icevane understands the true power of the Frostmaiden. Oh, true. 
So he so was more or less just just he was just working by himself yeah. and more or less seems like he was using the caravan simply as a way of getting around. Yeah. So okay, in that case, I, I, I feel like this the what the hell was it the uh, Sunblight Clan might be the solution to this winter problem, and then the caravan is probably the solution to the murders, right? Maybe is that dumb. I think but, it was Sefek then. Only. Yeah, I think so as well. I think it was yeah. Sefek with the murders, maybe in conjunction with the Sunblight yeah. Clan to bring out like the the total rule of that Frost Maiden. And also, what like one more thing that I'm gonna give you guys just as a friendly hint. Thank I you, never DM. do this. Is just the murders all happened in a town that. Uh, was basically uh, using human sacrifices to, oh. you know, worship uh, Aurea, the Frost Maiden. Oh. And okay. you did find a letter on that one corpse that talked about these elections being rigged. I guess we did see that, right? Yeah. I think, I don't know, one of you probably yeah. still has that letter in your inventory. I think, was it Freon? Who... I don't remember that at all. I have a letter to Lila, whoever that is. Yep, I, I think, think that's it. One from the ah. car. Yeah, from the, yes. yes. Lila. Car. I have it twice, actually. Oh, look at that. <laughs> that's how important it is. <laughs> letter to Lila. I guess. Where was it? It was letter... My dear Lila, I am writing this as a means of security and peace of mind. Oh, that was the letter on the, the cart on the corpse yeah. that yeah. had also, you had also the... the corpse also had like this icicle this... wound. Yeah, and didn't he have that that armor as well? I was that so. the one? Maybe I can't remember. Who has the armor? What, what armor? armor? There was like um. Hang on, do I still have that as well? <laughs> I, I can't even remember the armor. The important no. thing is the letter. Focus. <laughs> but who did the armor? Focus That's the on question. the story. What's no, no, who has the armor? The armor though? Yeah, exactly. What like, armor? Yeah. What there are was, you talking yeah, about? There was like there was some magic armor as well. Was Maybe magic? Randolph has that. I think so. I, I remember no. there were gemstones in that cart. Gemstones. No. 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 Gemstones? No. no. I'm. Oh, no. Sure. No, no a crown. I mean, it was a crown, I mean, wasn't it? A crown? Yeah. No. Let me put on my no. spectacles and the, the one I have on my head. Well, well. <laughs> I mean, all of you have like a, a set of winter's clothes, and Branwolf okay. has like one identified I armor. Un, I got oh, yeah. one un, un, unidentified have armor. Unidentified item. Yeah, that's it then. Oh, okay. Unidentified item. That's the important yeah. thing. So what was that? I'm writing this as a means of security and peace of mind. I was able to bribe one of the lottery hands in Brinchander to not include my name in the drawing and am embarking on the long journey south along the tent trail mm. towards East Acre. Is that the letter? Yes. Yeah, yeah that's the letter. While I cannot wait to feel your warm embrace again once I reach Kedath, if you are reading this, then my quest for escaping the confinements of this harsh region in Icewind Dale have come to a bloody end. If this reaches you by the way of fates and help to take towns, curse the Frost Maiden and those who sing her rhyme. To truly end her spell, one must, and then it ends. <laughs> no! Oh. Come on. And the unidentified item weighs 65 kilos, so that's probably. It's a gemstone, yeah. It's a gemstone. <laughs> and of oh, course, it was, a, it. <laughs> it was a proper, like, like. Uh, yeah. Not chainmail, but like it was armor. a like, plate heavy armor. Plate yeah. armor, yeah. yeah. How can we identify it if it's un unidentified? Are we identifying things now? I also have something. I don't know. <laughs> we can. All do of it, you yeah. have like fifteen yeah. different pieces of identification stuff. Yes, I, I, I mean, have everything identified. I can. Okay. I can do it for. Please do it. We don't two hundred gold. Runwolf, do you have it? You need two hundred gold. No, you can I have. have... No, I need pearls. Let me check. Where's he? Uh, ah, wait a minute. Pearls. Yes, remember. We just need a nice you? tavern and a book. A book. Not a book. A I've bed. Got a, <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like cold in here. It's not nice. Yeah. I have a torch. That's fine. 
We're all huddled around the torch. I have a pearl, if it helps. I've got bears. Do we need to do this now, or can we do this in the next... No, uh, no, let's no. do this somewhere you, you, nice. You skit. Oh, I still have unidentified stuff. I don't know. This another, another time, these items are okay. not identified. They never <laughs> will be, because everybody forgets about them again next oh, session. I have them, I will remember them. And we have, we're, like, six different items where, unidentified. Where are we heading to now, we're so we busy. can... Yeah, that's the thing. Um, I, I, okay. Can from... Tiala open up that chest now or not? Yeah, let's let's do that. Yeah, let's open. The let's chest. go for the chest. Screw it. Yeah, let's go. Screw the, the quest. Let's go for the chest. There we go. <laughs> go for the loot. <laughs> yes. Somewhere near. I guess it's the... this one up here, right? Yeah, I guess so. Near the whale. Would whale oil be considered rare oils? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Yes? Yes. Wolf, okay, put it in let's your take the oil. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How much do I think would uh, a thousand gold pieces be? Uh, not enough that's in that barrel. No. Oh. Okay. And there it's 500 pounds, but it's not enough for a thousand. I've got a haver sack of okay. holding. I can I mean, pour it it's in. not going to fit a barrel. It no, needs anyway. the, the rules were it needs to be like the size, you know, of of the haver sack. It should get close Wait, to. You can pour it in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, what, one gold per pound at least? Probably more expensive um, than that. Um. Do you need stuff identified now? I still have 15 pearls. No, let's it's, just it's a waste do another pearls. short yeah. rest sometime. All right, yeah, we'll, we'll do it uh, as soon okay. as we're back in the town. Yeah. So yeah, we're, exactly. we're standing around this weird ass chest. Uh, Blackwater, as it's... you pass the corpse of the Remorhas, uh -huh. uh, all of you like walk through some kind of liquid and you like look down oh, and you no. see that it's whatever it had like it, inside itself um this like hot kind of essence and 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 liquid that was used in its yeah bowels or whatever um is like now spilled on the icy floor and kind of cooled off and it has turned almost into this like milky like color uh, that you recognize um make a Quick, straight intelligence check again. Oh yeah, my favorite. Let's go. It is a 24. Oh. A 24. Um, yeah. You recognize this as being a, a liquid that is known to alchemists uh, both like it's almost like a like a legend since it's uh, pretty rare um the essence is called thrim and like remo houses are usually uh, known to keep this like within um within their bodies and you know that they are often used to craft uh, poisons of like cold resistance another like useful concoction and that just a single little bottle of thrim usually goes for a very high price since Rema houses are so rare and are only found in these regions and um they go for around uh, 250 gold pieces like a single Damn, bottle get out of the car. bottles uh is get it considered an bottles. oil no <laughs> it's not considered an oil if i mix it's it with bottle. whale oil can one consider it as bodily oil? fluid no you would be uh ruining both dim ru ruining both yeah <laughs> all right I turn back after making that realization and I start scraping as much as I can onto all of my empty vials. How many empty vials do you have? Infinite because apparently, I mean... How many actual items of empty vials do you have? Zero, Does but I know that... anybody have empty vials? Well, I think... I, I have, have one. one. Uh, okay. I have Is two... That it? I have two water skins which I can empty and... Uh, I have a, got a, three poisonous got kit, a, which certainly have a bunch of empty vials. I got a haversack of holding. <laughs> Put all kinds of shit in that. Well, I, I would say maybe across you guys, you would maybe get together four clear vials. No. Then. 
well, with your stuff. I can craft like potions out of thin air, basically. It's all. It's also. It's also like not that much that's lying around. Oh. It's basically this small little puddle next to the corpse, and you can probably fill around four glass vials with it. Yeah, if, if it's you enough. Scrape then... it up. Yeah. If you there scrape you it up very okay. carefully. Let's go. I mean, you have like okay. what's a pipette? You know, if you want to yeah. use that. <laughs> I think yeah. I probably so keep this, it clean as well. Is this treasure chest or whatever it is? Is this open now? Did we melt it? Did uh, did Tiala chip so it away? Let or me. What? I'm gonna give them to you, Blackwater. Then the Thank bottles you. of of uh, where's Thrim. Blackwater? Of Thrim. It's not. There he is. Explosive, right? You haven't played around with it that much. It's that rare. I mean, I don't want to be carrying this thing around if it's going to blow up on my... <laughs> yeah, okay. Oh, I'm not going to be putting it in my haversack either. <laughs> Thanks for the help. <clears throat> so? The chest yes, is frozen shut. Are you going to... trying to melt it with my flame and also okay. maybe with some swords and no, no, stuff. Easy, easy, easy enough with uh, like melting it away. It only takes like a minute or so. Um, you open up this, um, this chest to find what looks like mostly whaling supplies that uh, these uh wh whatever like the giant or whatever is used in here um you should be able to see and also access now oh, yeah. the loot token uh there's like a couple of things in there small little leather pouches uh, a garnet a little scrimshaw idol um most importantly though there seems to be a spell scroll stuffed in there as well, which is a spell scroll of Dominate Monster that Freon can easily identify with his reading uh, feature thingy. Tongue, what, what is it again? Something. <laughs> it has this um, weird name. Yeah. Um, um, a cool yeah, name, though. Yeah. yeah. Let me check. Google uh, Translate. No, is... Google Translate. No, it's one of my... Uh, Eyes of the Runekeeper. There you go. Yeah. So you can identify this as a spell scroll of Dominate Monster. There's a chest inside of a chest. Am I saying that right? Yeah. Can I open the second chest? Yeah, it's empty. Just seems is to be a, a means third? of transportation. Okay. There's, <laughs> there's a basket <laughs> inside the chest. Can I open the basket? Oh, no. It's empty as well. And the lid is missing. And a poppet inside a poppet. And another poppet. And the leather, the leather pouch is inside the the basket. And inside the leather pouch is the garnet, the yeah. scrimshaw idol, and the silver necklace. Inside the there garnet is Branwolf, then. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> yeah. Right. Now that stone has long been cracked. Yeah. So, take it all. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Um, fuck it. Fuck it. We have to, well, what's what's we have the to plan? You guys want to go okay. right now. You are. Hang on. Let me bring on over the. Have you guys like pulled out the items and stuff? Yeah. I'm not touching anything. Um... Uh, let me get you to the world map. Yes. Activate. So you are currently down here. Do you... oh, here's the party. Down here, south of. There we go. South of Dugan's Hole. I guess we should head back to Dugan's Hall. I think I... Yeah, right. To, get to sleep there, maybe. To sleep, and to I... get our stuff together, to yeah. identify things, and then to carry on. So I would say we head back towards Dugan's Hall. Am I... Okay, just, just to get a clear idea, are we now going after the Sunblight Clan? Because they seem to be the ones who are kind of causing this whole... Uh, ice qu maiden queen whatever mm. thing. I, I think we should find get... out what, what, who they are and where they are. Yeah, yeah. I, don't I know. think the yeah. first thing we should do is head back to where we came from. I think we came from Bryn Shandon, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So we tell everything what we oh. found out to those guys, and maybe they can help us. Maybe they know more, especially the dwarven lady. Yeah. 
Flynn, she was in Bremen last time you saw her. Bremen. No, actually, she uh, she contacted Frio. Yes, yeah, she talked to me with. An... And How she said, that? "I'm not sure. Probably she was heading to Lonelywood." Because <laughs> <No. laughs> we've been everybody everybody heads to Lonelywood at some point. <laughs> I mean, we also wanted to. We had some other stuff to do, right? The white moose is there. I mean, yeah, and wasn't there something about the cairn that there are people missing with the dog? That was on Kelvin's cairn, the yeah. expedition guy. Yeah. yeah. We completely. I mean, we thing. solved the murder, so now we can do the castles and the cairn stuff. You think they're still alive? Optimus. I don't know how long has it been since they went missing. Oh, okay. I, I think what we go to Dugan's Hole, rest up, and then see what we do next. Or probably yeah, go to Bridge of Thunder, right? That's good. good yeah. Um, Sounds good. All right. Okay. Then let's use this point to stop for yeah. this week. Make the call, DM. And we shall return fortnightly uh, the Wednesday in two weeks. Although I think Vera I, can't. Yeah. Uh, so it might be Tuesday, Tuesday. if you can make it. Oh, if not, you have to play without Tuesday. me. That works. Yeah, for me. like the Tuesday before that Wednesday in two weeks. Now so in, in thirteen days. So yes, thank you everybody for joining in, you guys for playing, and uh, as always, head to slantedice.com for all of our current and older episodes. And keep an eye on our socials. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a review on yeah, iTunes. Leave a review to suggest some proper bosses to our DM, please. <laughs> oh, do not no, please test don't. me. Do and not shell out some me. of those coppers and become a Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you can also support the, the show directly on Spotify via our anchor link. There are several ways to support us. But the easiest and the one that's free is just leaving a review on iTunes. That's the one that we love the best. We love hearing from you guys. So head on over there. Write a sentence of I love everybody and uh, everybody's happy. Or tell us what we can do better. And we shall take that to heart. So, without further ado, see you next week. Stay safe. Uh, stay, 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 stay safe. And see you in 13 days, you meant, but that's okay. Yep. And bye bye. See you. Bye bye. Bye bye.